it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to animate a face in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Have you ever wondered how to animate facial expressions in Doodly? Today, we're going to go over how you can do just that. First, let's go over how to choose characters from a free tool like FreePick or Pixabay. As you can see, there are plenty of options. I typed in characters with faces and we have plenty of choices here. Now you're going to need a basic graphics design editor to work with these images though. In my example, I'm going to use Pixelmator Pro, but of course you can use Photoshop or whatever program that you have access to. For example, all of these faces here are contained within one image file. So you're going to need to slice and dice them into individual files. And it's just a simple matter of cropping, or if your software supports it, slicing the images. So let's go ahead and take these little faces. And I'm going to go ahead and download it. So here I am in Pixelmator Pro. I've imported the image, and I need to do a few things before I import it into Doodly. The first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this white background. I need it to be transparent. So I've got my little color picker tool. And what it's done is selected all of this white here. And if I delete it, these little checker boxes are my transparency. Now I want to get these little faces into individual files. Now, how do I do that? In Pixelmator Pro, I have a little slice tool and it lets you slice these images into little individual slices that you can export all at once. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that should be plenty for our purposes. So I've got eight little slices and I'm gonna go ahead and export them. Now I go back into Doodly and we go over to props, blue plus sign, and we just go ahead and drag and drop all of these little images. I'll just do four. So in my opening sequence, I had this Blake face, and I'm gonna just use the same one. And now we just wanna put our little character faces in. So I'm just gonna drag our first one. And we probably want to have all of these be the same size. So let's go ahead and resize our face to match that. And that's good for our first scene. Now, let's do our timing. We want to have him fade on instead of draw. And it's going to be a quick fade. We'll have this first one get drawn on. And I'm going to go ahead and make those drawing paths right now, clicking the pencil icon. So we'll get his eyebrows first. Okay, so let's take a look at how it's looking. Okay, so that draws on just fine. Now, all the others do not need to draw on. In fact, we're going to have them pop on because we want to animate this. So, we've got our guy set, and I want to show you the video settings. I have erase mode off. Let's turn scene transition off because we don't want any swipes between them. And now we're going to right click and choose duplicate. So I have an identical scene and I want to delete the, this face and put a new face in. So let's have him be silly. So before I delete it, I want to overlay it. So I'm not going to replace it. I'm going to add it. We have two faces here, but we want to kind of just get it where we have something matched up. Okay, so you know maybe his little dimples here would be good. 
and his eyebrows over here in his hair. So let's flip this so it's a little less in his hair. Still slightly, but that's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. So once you're happy with the placement, then select the other one and then delete it. So we're gonna go from this to this and then to something else. Now this is gonna draw on by default for three seconds and I don't want that, I want it to pop on. So I'm changing that to zero seconds. And the face is set to fade back in again because it's an exact duplicate. So we wanna change that to zero seconds. So now we have this little super short scene after our initial one where he's just looking silly. And it's a half second long, that might be long enough. We might want it a little bit longer. I'm gonna just keep it at that for now. And then we're gonna duplicate it once again. And this time it duplicated the zero durations because we had set those. So now let's change the face yet again. And again, we just kinda of want to get it placed the way we like. So we're gonna go and delete this guy. The little trash can is hard to see there, but it's in his hair. Once again, we need to change this duration to zero, so it just pops on rather than draws on. And we're going to duplicate the scene. And let's make him have this little sick thermometer face. And this one is a little bit too large. Usually you don't have to resize them if you get them all in one, but sometimes you do. And I think that will be fine, so I'm going to delete this. Change that to zero. So we now have all four of our little faces that we had imported. Now if you wanted to, you could go ahead and duplicate these scenes again to have him go through the emotions a couple of times. So you'll see this little tongue one is duplicated twice. I'm just gonna move that one to the end. So now it goes that face to that face. And then I duplicated this, so I need to move that to the end. And let's go ahead and take a look and see how that's coming along. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to animate a face in Doodly. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.